What's going on guys? In this tutorial we're going to learn how to stylize things more accurately by classes, IDs, and spans and we're going to learn how to do something like this. What's going on guys? We've learned so much with CSS and HTML already, it's ridiculous. We're just going to learn a little bit more uh, HTML in this tutorial that will be relevant to our CSS. Because even though we can stylize certain list items or certain list elements and not affect other list elements, there may be times when we actually have multiple paragraphs within the body of our, our page and we want this paragraph to be stylized differently than this paragraph. Or we want most of our paragraphs that have a certain uh, same nature of style to them to be styled that way but maybe this paragraph in particular um, needs a different style so what we're going to do in this tutorial is learn about class and ID attributes for HTML elements and what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to get more specific with what we're trying to stylize. So if we go back to our index.html file and also just to give you a little look into the future in the next tutorial we're going to learn about fonts and different font stylings. So that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial but we want to set up the basic fundamental structure to uh, be able to stylize particular uh, paragraphs within our page. So for example uh, we're going to create a uh, class attribute within our uh, HTML here for the first paragraph and what class means is it's like, hey, this is something that's generally going to be stylized the same. There's going to be multiple things that are like this, and I want all of these things that have this class attribute to be styled the exact same. Um, and we're going to do that for these first, uh, first and third paragraphs. We're going to give this the class of uh, sans serif, and we'll get into fonts and stuff in the next tutorial. Like I said, we want to give it a basic class name. So we're also going to give this paragraph a uh, class name of sans serif as well. We're going to give this a uh, class name of uh, just uh, serif. One other thing we're going to learn about in this tutorial is something called the span tag within HTML. What span is, it's just a way for us to identify something. It doesn't actually affect our HTML whatsoever. It just gives us a way that we could stylize something that we otherwise couldn't. So within this paragraph, we might want this second sentence to be stylized differently and we're going to do that just by adding a span element so then for example we could do a p a space span and then we could stylize that one certain color um, but what i'm going to do instead i'm going to give this an id of special text so we could also give this a class name of uh, something called special text as well the difference between a class an ID and an ID is that an ID should only be one thing on the page there shouldn't be any other spans that have this ID um, it should be very particular and that's the only time you need to use uh, an ID otherwise you want to use something that's a class because obviously we can have multiple classes that have this style of font for this example uh, this set this span is going to be the only thing on the page that's going to be completely different completely unique um, otherwise we'd want to use a class which again this is just for example so we could have very easily put a class here instead um, and we could affect this span element but we have everything set up so let's go into our CSS and learn how to uh, stylize these properties so we can go down to the bottom of our page below our table and we're going to actually uh, stylize those class names so we how we do that is anytime you have a class attribute you refer to that class by a period and then that uh, class name so period dot sans serif uh, we're just going to give this a color of blue to test it out again in the next tutorial we'll learn more about fonts and stuff um, but all we're saying is anything that has this attribute or this, uh, I'm sorry, this class name will have a blue text. So if we save this and go back to our HTML page as well, it doesn't even have to be a paragraph tag. We could also give our H2 tag a class name of sans serif and it should be a blue color as well. So if we save this, reload our page, you can see all of these elements are similar. Um, that's what the class is for. It's saying, hey, I don't care if this is a text necessarily, if it's a 
a list item or if it's a paragraph, if it has the same quality of attributes, give it that class name and then we'll affect that class um, for all of those elements. But let's say we only wanted to affect uh, paragraph tags with uh, the sans serif class name. So how we do that in CSS would be something like this. We refer to the paragraph tags and we hit dot for our class name. We don't have a space here because again, uh, the class is defined within the element itself. So we don't want to put a space because it's not necessarily inside of our paragraph tags. It's actually a part of that attribute. So we just do any paragraphs with the sans serif class name. We actually want the color uh, to be red. And we can look at that on our page. And as you can see, by default, it's going to refer to anything that has that, that attribute or that class to be blue. But in CSS, the more specific you are when defining what you want to stylize, it's going to go with the more specific option. So since we said, hey, even though we want all of these classes to be blue, we refer to a paragraph with that class. And that's even way more specific than just that class alone. So this is going to override the blue and change it to red. And so again, we can do that with uh, our serif tag as well. And we can just have this be a color of green, for example. So we could stylize that span multiple different ways. We could do par or paragraph. Within the paragraph that has a span, we want it to be a color of uh, aqua, for example. We could refer to that span that way, but since this, it has an ID, we can just refer to that ID of special text and it's gonna know exactly where that is. That's what the importance of an ID is. Again, we could have had a class name as well. And I'm sorry, IDs are uh, defined with a number symbol and then the name value of that ID. So that's how you refer to an ID. And again, IDs are unique. They're, they should only be in one uh, place on your page, whereas class names are defining something very broad. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If we save this and check it out, I know it's a quick one. Again, we have green text and within our span, we have that aqua color. Uh, I want to check that out. Oh, it looks like we didn't close off our span properly. So again, forward slash span, save that and uh, reload our page and we get exactly what we'd expect. So that's a quick uh, tutorial about IDs and spans and classes. We'll be using these a lot when we're developing our web page, and it makes things a lot easier to code a variety of styles on your page and just refer to the class name when you're defining your elements, and it's already going to look beautiful uh, for you very simply. So, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy the tutorial, learn something. Please, again, share these videos. Tell me how I can improve. Like them. So, thanks again. Catch you later.